So we're talking about calculating acceleration. Okay. The equation for our average acceleration is, so it's going to be acceleration, and to denote the average, we're going to put a line over it like that, equals, and it's going to be the change or delta in velocity over the change in time, or delta t. All right? And so that A, like this with the line over it, is average acceleration. So it stands for average acceleration. Okay? And average acceleration is going to be measured in, because we're talking about acceleration, so something going a certain speed is increasing or decreasing. It's changing their velocity over time. So the velocity is changing over time. It's going to be measured in either. You're going to see this written as meters per second per second. Right? Or, and I'm going to put a box around that. Or, we'll write meters per second squared. Alright, so change in velocity. So velocity, we know very well, so V equals, or I'm sorry, this should be delta V equals change in velocity. So delta V equals a change in velocity. Okay, and that's going to be measured in meters per second, most often. Okay, and we'll just what we'll be looking for the difference between maybe what it started at and what it ended at, or where it ended and where it started. I mean, whatever we're looking for, or maybe between two points in the middle of a race or something. Um, and we'll be finding the change there. So that might involve subtraction, or it might be, I mean, it might be more obvious. It may just tell us it went from zero to eight. Okay, so the last one is change in time. Change in time. So it's change in time. Okay, and time is, uh, in all these cases right here that we're looking at, we have seconds as our measurement of time, so that's going to be seconds as how we measure time.